In the description to this video, there is a link for 500 free animations from TrueBones.com. It's a new site I discovered today. All these files are in BVH format, but they will work in DAS Studio, of course, because uh, DAS Studio imports BVH. Uh, this tutorial will tell you how to use those animations, plus you have the uh, skills needed to use any of the other animations from that site. They have like over at least 30,000 animations. I could be wrong, but at least 30,000 animations and a bunch of free ones. Uh, so if you're interested, uh, go down to truebones.com and check it out. It's an awesome site. They don't advertise, but they have way more animations than Mixmo. Way more. Three, two, one, go! So we're going to apply a motion capture file, a BVH file, to a Genesis character first. Uh, we're going to be converting this BVH file that was made for the Genesis character to a Genesis 8 character. It's a Genesis animation that we'll be converting to Genesis 8. So first of all, I'm going to load the character. This is a Genesis, uh, the basic Genesis 1 DAS model. Okay, and first what we're going to do is I'm going to show you this. We're going to go into Tools and then Joint Editor. And um, I want to show you something. Uh, This is the way the bones are named. Uh, right here, I click down here. As you can see, that's the pelvis. Right behind it here, that's the hip. Then you have the uh, abdomen and the abdomen two and the chest. Now I have this BVH file that we're gonna apply to this character. Uh, it was made for Daz Studio. I'm gonna show you, uh, you click right here and uh, that's the chest going from top to bottom. Chest, abdomen two, and abdomen, just like in DAS. So we go right here, we're at chest, abdomen two, and abdomen. That's how I told it was a Genesis character. Uh, you know, also what I did is I looked at the arms. Uh, this is left shoulder, and that's left forearm. They're going to be the same. Uh, name type, uh, you know, right forearm and left forearm, the same type of name, wherever you go. Uh, but here, this one, uh, right shoulder and left forearm. See, uh, in Dow Studio with a Genesis 8 character, With the Genesis 8 character, the way the bones are set off, they have four for the arm. They have the, uh, left shoulder bend, the left shoulder twist, and the left forearm bend, and the uh, left forearm twist. That's how you could tell the difference between a Genesis and a Genesis 8. This BVH file won't work on, uh, won't work on Genesis uh, 8 characters because the bones are different. So we're gonna convert that to a Genesis 8. So first what we're going to do uh, with this Genesis that's been newly added to the scene, we're going to select it and then choose select all after right clicking it. We're going to the edit menu and then figure and then limits and then limits off rotation. That's the first step. Otherwise the animation will look bad when you apply it to the Genesis character. Next, we're going to go to File, Import, uh, then make sure this is set to BVH. And then uh, this is the animation we're going to add, the one that I showed you in Blender, the backbend.bvh. Going to double click that. Have all these settings default. Uh, you know, just have this one selected, adjust scene to match the file, and then hit accept. It's going to take a second to load. Once it's loaded, I'll play it and you can see it's a good animation.
Now the next step is to save this animation as a pose preset. We're going to select Genesis, go up here to File, Save As, Pose Preset. This is where I'm saving my pose presets files for now. You could save them anywhere in your DAS library. I'm going to name this pose preset Backbend to match the original file and then click Save. Make sure this says animated range because it's animation, not current frame only. And then click Accept. Then delete your Genesis character and then uh, go over to Smart Content and then uh, click on Figures. Then scroll down. Uh, you'll find uh, Genesis 8 Basic Female. It's right here. Then double click it to load it. Okay, now once uh, this is completely loaded, you're going to uh, go over here, right click your Genesis 8 female, go select all, select all nodes, go over here to edit. This time it's a little bit different. You go down to limits, turn limits off. Then you go up here to edit again. You go up here to edit, you go to figure, go to lock and unlock selected nodes. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and just select, select the Genesis 8 female. Uh, you go over to where you have the uh, pose preset. Uh, mine is right here. Uh, you may have to go up to uh, public DAO's library and choose refresh. So I've refreshed it, go up here, this is my post presets where I'm saving them uh, while I study this. Okay, here's my post preset. You may have to refresh it a couple times. But you take this post preset. We have removed locks and limits from a Genesis 8 female. And uh, she is selected. So you uh, double click the preset. Select yes on this because uh, the frame, the timeline is only 30 frames and this animation is like 400. Uh, so uh, it's going to extend my timeline to fit the full animation by clicking yes. Now after we applied the pose preset, I'll turn it around here and you'll see the animation is kind of messed up. Her arm's all there and it's, it's weird. But I have a solution to that. Uh, we're going to go to Google and uh, download a DAS Studio add-on to fix that. Then you go to Google. I'm going to use voice typing. Type Windows key and H. And say world's greatest pose converter. And type in DAS after that. It doesn't always get DAS when you do that with voice typing. That really speeds up your workflow. There it is on DeviantArt. You go over here, World's Greatest Pose Converter. Hit the download button. It may want you to sign up and log in. If so, just do that and then hit that. I'm gonna go ahead and put this file into downloads. I'm gonna save it in my downloads folder. Then I'm gonna double click it to uh, unzip it. Click uh, Actually, from this point, all you have to do is right-click it, copy, then go up to your DAS library. Mine's public DAS library. Yours is probably my library or um, my DAS library. But my DAS library, uh, where I have all my uh, files that I've downloaded for DAS, is in here. See, it ha has your, uh, your data folder, and it has your... Uh, runtime folder. This is a data folder, so I'm just going to go ahead and make sure nothing is selected by clicking in an empty space here, then paste the data folder. I'm going to click yes to replace the files because I've already had it installed. I just wanted to show you how to do it.
Now once that is there, what you'll have to do is restart DAS. So I'm going to mimic that. I'm going to go ahead, go to File, Save. I save all my files and my Scratch DUF when I'm working on something. Just a Scratch file on my desktop that I'm constantly overwriting. So I'm going to click Scratch.DUF, save it. Just click yes on these options on both of them if you're going to do it like my method. Otherwise, just save it on your hard drive and name it. Now when DAS Studio reopens, uh, we're going to go over here and uh, select the uh, Genesis 8 female after we load the file, of course. Go here to open recent, scratch.duf. Then the Genesis 8 female is already selected, so we go to your parameters tab. See how the animation is still weird, of course, uh, just like we saved it. Uh, we're going to go to, uh, in parameters, go to pose controls. And then uh, we're going to go down. Uh, this is the newly installed uh, file that you installed uh, with the world's greatest pose converter. This is it. It's under pose controls. It's G3F pose. You click that, go over here to full body. You want to make sure you're on frame zero of your timeline. But if you're on frame zero, uh, go ahead and click uh, full body and uh, raise it to the top. And what it's going to do is going to convert your pose uh, so it'll uh, play effectively. So it'll, it'll be right. Then I'm going to go ahead and hit play. And you can see that this is a good animation, just like the Genesis. I couldn't find anywhere online how to convert Genesis to Genesis 8 animation, so I figured it out real quick and posted this tutorial. So I hope you like it. Uh, if you like it, just uh, feel free to subscribe and share. Yeah.